for me, you know, gun violence and mass shootings have been a very emotional topic because, you know, we're in school shooter drills and uh, we always had them in my school. And they became so commonplace that it was like another subject, like math, science, school shooting drill. We're using Facebook and Twitters and Instagrams, powerful, powerful tools to post thoughts and condolences, meaningless thoughts and prayers after these tragedies happen. If we could have used that same capability and that power to transform the way we use tech to prevent mass shootings, we would have a very viable solution to build a neutral platform that dismantles the black box of gun violence. It's really about bringing a complex layer of tech to a human problem. If we get so politically entrenched, so emotionally involved, there is no progress being made. By the time we can make a you know really firm and you know steady uh, gun violence legislation, it's how many more people have to die. Really, what this project is about is pushing through that and coalescing people from all different backgrounds. Some of the people on my team are pro Second Amendment. But you know, at the end of the day, it's about that common vision that all of those people are innocent and they don't deserve to die based on like a mass shooting incident that we could have easily prevented. Data does not lie. If the facts and the statistics are there in regards to this subject, then it's very hard to make it a political argument because it is so stringently undeniable. It allows us to make more informed policy decisions and more informed safety measures within these communities on how they can best handle these situations before a mass shooting has to occur. Tech is an enhancement. Tech is based on the people who create it. So that's what I'm doing.